What's up guys, Chris from Duck Love Outdoors. It is September 1st and I'm out here and try to shoot me a goose. So I got uh, six floaters with flocked heads out. I have a goose swimmer. I have two mallard swimmers and then the two different pulsators. So I have the new version and the old version. So if you want to see those in action, make sure you continue watching because I'll show the spread once it's light out here and hopefully they come flying. So I've gotten some good reports on this spot. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Also, I got a new gun this, this season. Um, I got the Beretta A300 and then I also got a shotgun. So hopefully we get some, get some action this morning, we'll see. And Cash is over here, he's been running around all morning. I gotta get him seated. Hopefully, hopefully they start honking. But thanks for y'all tuning in. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, go ahead and smash it so that way you don't forget. Leave a comment down below and make sure you subscribe. All right, let's get to it. Here, a bunch of big ducks. What's up guys, Chris with Duckalope Outdoors. I'm out here goose hunting in a blind that isn't completely built yet and not brushed. So I kind of just wanted to wing it this morning, try something different. All these geese know where all these blinds are anyway with the area that I'm hunting in. So it really doesn't matter, I think. Um, big thing is, is I'm gonna stay close to the front wall. Um, if I start to hear them, I'll call. And then, obviously, once they get close enough to where I think I can get a shot, then I'll move. Um, I got cash with me, which is going to um, add to the chaos a little bit more because, of course, he's excited and wants to swim and retrieve and all that good stuff. But right now, he's just laying down and chilling. Um, all right, so as per one of my last videos... Um, I made a video on a new pulsator. So I have both pulsators out and I'm gonna show you um, the difference between both of them just super quick and show you my spread. So um, that way I kind of promised everybody that I would show them um, side by side difference. So pretty much they're right next to each other kicking water and it seems like the relays are ex like timed like exactly the same. So. Um, I don't really like that, but I might have to keep that in mind once duck season comes in. I'm going to spread them apart so that way um, they're not standing next to each other kicking water exactly at the same time. But that way, at least you can compare um, the difference on the amount of water that it kicks off. But I'll go ahead and turn around the camera. I'll show you the spread, and then I'll shut up, and hopefully we at least get one flock come through and get some shots off. Um, also... Sorry for rambling. Uh, yesterday I went goose hunting. I had a shot at a massive flock of geese. They were kind of high, um, but being in the area I was hunting, it shooting at high flyers where I was, it really doesn't matter. Um, but obviously I didn't knock one down. But All right, so I got a goose swimmer right there. 
I'll wait for him to cut on. You can see how he kind of swims around, does circles and stuff. I only put out one duck swimmer. Um, that's that one. Wait for that one to cut on. So she's out here doing circles and stuff. I got six other just floaters. Um, and also I alternated my decoy lines. So I tie decoy lines off the front of the decoy and off the back. Um, I do a 50-50 split. So some of them are looking one way and some are looking the other. So that way it looks like they're not just, uh, you know, swimming to take off or swimming to go somewhere else. All right, so here are the pulsators. So as you can tell, the one on the right is the new one. The most updated one with the stronger motor. It's kicking off more water than the one on the left. And the one on the left really isn't old. So I got that last season. So it's not like that motor is stressed out or anything like that. But is it worth the money? It's more durable. So, and it's kicking off more water. So I would say, yeah, it's worth the money. Just go ahead and just buy the new one. But the geese should either be coming from my right right ahead or right from behind me which hopefully they come in from behind me because like i said i'm hunting a blind that um isn't built completely and not brushed so hopefully i can bust them over this tree line that's back behind me So that hunt was a bust. I didn't expect really much of it, but um, hunting residentials. Y'all know anything about waterfowl hunting? It's uh, it can be it can be rough. So especially you think you got them dialed in or you know where they're at. So sometimes they just they just change up. But I'm gonna switch gears and go on a dove hunt this evening. All right, we're out here dove hunting. I got old cash with me. I'm sitting here watching this this dead tree. They've yet to cut the corn, but um, watching this dead uh, this dead tree, it seems like they keep wanting to land in it. I was positioned a little bit further up the road, but I came down here chasing Zach or to my right over working a pond. So hopefully we can keep these birds bouncing back and forth, but. I'm gonna do my best with videotaping and controlling the dog. So if you haven't done it before, it's pretty tough. But I'll go ahead and shut up and hopefully I get some good foot footage. Hunt him up, Cash. Hunt him up. Hunt him up. Good boy. Good boy. Right here. Right here. Good boy. Fetch him up. Fetch him up. Fetch him up. Good boy. Good boy. Get him. Fetch him up. Good boy. Get him. Get him. Fetch him up. Get him. There you go. Good boy. Get him. Get him. Get him. Hunt him up, Cash. Hunt him up. Hunt him up. Hunt him up. Hey, 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 hunt him up. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Right here. Bring it right here. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. That's a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I pray I got that on film. That was so awesome. I had a dove come in, laying right at the top of the tree. I busted them, Cash went right out and got them, brought them back. Had a little bit of trouble once he started flipping around. I think it kind of freaked him out, but he ended up picking them up and bringing them to me. Yeah, I'm pumped. I am pumped. Ooh. Hunt him up. Good boy. Good boy. Bird number two. Good boy. Right here, right here, right here. Right here, good boy. 
drop. Good boy. Good boy. That's two. That's two. Good boy. Place. Place. Cash. I just got done editing um, all the footage from the past, the September 1st, September 2nd uh, hunts. As you can tell, Cash is fired up because he's been hearing me go get him and hearing gunshots and stuff go off on my phone but um i'm glad that the sh shot cam worked for me um a whole lot better footage than just using a gopro so this season if you subscribe and you watch my stuff all the time this season should be a big jump and uh quality of uh footage so let's pray that the numbers um are as good as what i think um, like I told everyone last season, I said that, you know, maybe we needed a crappy season of the birds not getting pushed, uh, pushed down from the north. And also, um, you know, the birds not getting killed because obviously the duck numbers would go up from the amount not killed because they're just going to travel back up north and, uh, you know, have a better hatch rate. So, so far it's looking good because I found the teal found wood ducks geese numbers are really good around in this area which really uh is that's saying a lot and then the dove numbers are looking really good too so uh i got a couple more hunts lined up before the wood duck and teal season which would be not this weekend but next weekend and uh i'll end up out there saturday and sunday to wood duck and teal hunt and then probably throughout the week as well. Um, just trying to get out there while the little ones at daycare. So maybe walk walk the creeks, do something a little bit different uh, versus just sitting stationary in a blind. Um, just because I have to drop him off at nine, whatever. But not like y'all probably don't care about that. But if you've made it this far in the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. It helps me out with the algorithm, give some my uh view count up and helps it pop up on other people's uh recommendations um so yeah i'm excited for this coming season you you have absolutely no idea um but i appreciate all y'all support um if you haven't went and looked at all my taxidermy stuff because i know you've probably seen the stickers on my truck in the back window um go hop over to instagram take a peek at it uh, if you live in the area, um, make sure you just go ahead and jot my jot my name down in the uh, in the in your notes there. So if you're looking for a taxidermist to taxidermy your ducks, geese, or pheasants, I can do it. Um, uh, also, if you kill a deer this coming deer season, uh, if you want to hit up Wallace's Processing and Taxidermy, they're out in Waverly, um, along for uh, along as your uh, um, your water fat, waterfowl needs as well. So if you want, you know, your duck, goose, or pheasants, or anything else mounted, uh, make sure to hit them up. Um, if you're close to Waverly, uh, Camden type area, um, you know, they'll, they'll definitely help you out there too. So, but until next time, I've been Chris. It's been Duck Lope Outdoors, and y'all stay safe out there. It's about to be a good one. Let's get it.